Right now at 6, at least two people in Connecticut are feeling the brutal effects of E. coli after purchasing some ground beef from a local farm stand. The source of the outbreak comes from a slaughterhouse in central Massachusetts, and officials are worried that more cases will be popping up. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell has our story tonight. For most people with this type of E. coli infection get bloody diarrhea. As described by Hospital of Central Connecticut Dr. Joseph Gardner, those graphic symptoms could be making its way around after a confirmed outbreak of E. coli. The USDA says the Adams Farm Slaughterhouse in Athol, Massachusetts is the source. Officials are looking at beef slaughtered on a wide range of dates from July 15th through August 26th and processed between July 21st and September 22nd. The farm is recalling beef, veal and bison. What could we be seeing in terms of an outbreak? Well, it's always hard to, to uh, determine in advance how large an outbreak might be. They label all uh, meat produced with a code number and they can trace it back and that's what the FDA and the Department of Public Health is doing right now. The State Department of Health says in our two cases the bad ground beef was purchased from a farm stand, but they won't say where. We went to Killaman Bassett Farm in South Glastonbury where local farmers pour their hearts into their produce and animals. You know, you want the best for your customers and want to make sure they get what you're putting into it. Owners Kevin and Christine don't work with Adams Farm. The meats grown here are prepared at a slaughterhouse in New York. They say it's tough when they have to put their hard work and reputation essentially into the hands of a stranger. We do the research, make sure that we find good quality slaughterhouses to make sure that they come highly recommended from other farmers and from the safety standards from the USDA. The Department of Health is asking asking farm stand customers to ask where the meat is coming from to see if it is from Adams. If it is, they're advising customers to throw it away and always cook their meats at 160 degrees. That's the latest with the Mobile Newsroom. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.